Hey everyone, and welcome back for another cooking video. Today, it's Nicole, um, one half of the Dedeville Twins, and I'm gonna be cooking some sauteed vegetables and beef with this pasta alternative. So, per pack for this pasta is 25 calories per pack, and I have three packs here, so it's gonna be enough for me to do six meals for the week. And I'm using stew beef, or I'm using stewing beef. It's already cut and everything for me. I have 1.2 kilograms, 200 grams per serving for the week for each meal. So that's gonna give me six meals for the week. And I've already gone ahead and put it in the container. I'm just going to wash it with a bit of lemon juice. So I'm back, everything's washed and all the meat um, has already been cut up. So I'm gonna be using this teriyaki sauce. And this is just to go with the sauteed veggies. Since it already comes with the teriyaki sauce, I could go ahead and use that, but I'm just worried that it might not be enough to season the meat. So I just got an additional pack. So for the macros of this, there's about 570 milligrams per one tablespoon. And that's of salt. So I'll just pour some in. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. So for now, let's do two and a half. And that's gonna be the only seasoning that I pretty much use for this meal. Just go ahead and mix it about. I feel like if I had a bag, a Ziploc bag, that might be a better option too. So you just put the seasoning in a Ziploc bag and make sure everything is coated evenly. So everything's all marinated. And the way that I'm gonna cook it is I'm gonna put this in the oven, let it simmer for a bit, and then cook my veggies separately. Then everything will come together in the end. So I'm just gonna put a bit of oil at the bottom of the pan. And I'm gonna put this into um, this baking pan here. Try to make sure that they're not um, stuck on each other. So that we give each piece a good amount of space. So I've got a good bit in here, so some of them are touching, but I'll make sure to check back down to the bottom. So everything's just layered like that. I'm gonna plop on the lid. Set my oven on bake for 375. Should have preheated it before, but that's okay. And I'm gonna put it in. And I'll check periodically to make sure everything is cooking out nicely. And we're back. So now I'm gonna be cooking the veggies. And I'm just going to get some oil into this frying pan. I have it on already. What? And this is just a mixed bag of veggies. We have kale, we have broccoli, carrots, Brussels sprouts, all that good stuff in there. So this bag also comes with a pack of noodles in it. Noodles and some seasoning. And I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use this. But from the packaging, it has a bit too much salt in it. So I'm just gonna wash this quickly so this is how much you get in one pack and based on the mountain hair I think one pack might be good enough for me for the whole week 
So I'll go ahead, put my pot on low. I've got a little bit of oil in here already. So I'm just gonna dump this in here. I put one pack of the mixed vegetables into the frying pan. I put a bit of canola oil before I started this. And I'm just mixing it to make sure everything is good. So now I'm gonna put a bit of soy sauce in. I got this one just because it's low sodium. And I'm gonna use just a bit of the package that came with the noodles, I mean with the veggies. It comes with noodles, but I don't wanna use those. My guess is this is a more of a sweeter sauce. I'm just stirring everything in there. And it looks pretty much done now, so bring it down to the lowest. And I'm not too sure, I might make the next package. So first I'm gonna put this in a plate because my pan is not that big. And then we'll mix everything else after. So this week is definitely just gonna be a veggie heavy week. And the beef is still cooking in the oven right now. So let's shut on that. So now I'm just gonna leave the top off and just let it give a, get a little bit of color. And then we'll start with, and then we'll end up adding it to our mixture, our veggies. To get a bit of soy sauce for this one too and in total i only use one pack of this sauce so just put the rest in there and make sure you mix everything up real good so everything gets in there. okay so i think the beef is ready We'll get that out. Put everything on low, and I'm gonna put this back in the pan so I can mix everything together. So I use teriyaki um, flavor for both the beef and the veggies. So I hope that the flavors mix together. Should have done it in a bigger pan but i don't have a bigger pan so this is it and i can pretty much put the fire off and that's um gonna be it for the veg the veggies and the beef it looks like it's a good color so that's gonna be a good meal for the week the last thing now is to do these noodles so this is the part I'm kind of skeptical on because I've never tried these. So this is how these noodles look. Interesting. Directions say drain and rinse for 30 seconds. So it says drain and rinse for 30 seconds, then pan five, fry dry for three minutes. So I'm gonna do all at once. So I'm gonna be going to strain this out and then rinse it. All three packs. I'm just gonna add some oil again. And I've rinsed out this pasta. And this is how it looks, rinsed. 
So I'm just going to put this in the frying pan now. And the texture of this is just, I don't know. It says pan fried for three minutes. So we'll do that. This is very hard to grip. So that's been about three minutes. So now I'm just going to be putting them in the individual containers. And I'm just trying to eyeball it. The thing about the good thing about this one is it's pretty low calorie. It dropped a lot of water. And I'm going to be placing the beef over each so it's all eyeball for this one I just want to make sure each container gets a good bit And that's it. I've got my six meals prepped out for the week. And it took me around an hour, an hour and a half to prepare everything. So this was, I think, a relatively quick meal for me to make for the week. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.